sweepstakes winner. I've been looking forward to... No! No! Hey! Hey! I've been talking a long time! I sense movement! I need a new battery! Can you hear me? A new battery! A new battery, huh? Well, my name is Zyder, and let's play Return to Zork. But before we get started, there are a couple of things I'd like to point out. First of all, I'll be trying to show off as much of the developer's logic as I possibly can, so I won't be solving every puzzle we encounter right away, and I definitely won't be taking the most efficient route through the game. The second thing I'll be trying to do is show off as many deaths as possible, so we're going to die a lot this being a Zork game and all. So the first thing we should probably do is save. But how do we do that? There's no top bar or no verb menu at the bottom, just screen real estate. Just move your mouse cursor to the upper left hand corner and click the disk icon to open the options menu. You can also press F1 to get to this menu and then click save. And you can also just press F2 to skip straight to this menu. I've already got a test save from a, a previous recording, so let's let's just overwrite it. All right, let's get started. This used to be called the Valley of the Sparrows. It's had a name change recently. When this game originally shipped, it came with a couple of feelies, and one of them was a sweepstakes letter telling you that you had won an all-expenses-paid trip to the Valley of the Sparrows. Uh, obviously, the name has changed, and the population has dwindled. So something's going on. But uh, forget that, there's a sweet inventory item here. Let's take a look at it. It's alive. That's nice to know. Let's take it. The vulture attacked us. All right, fine. Let's uh let's deal with that vulture first. Just right click to open your inventory and let's see what we're carrying. We've got a map, a photo album, a tele orb, a tape recorder, a camera, a knife, and some matches. 
Let's uh, let's use our knife here. In every inventory items box, there are uh, two shades of colors here, two shades of gray. The light gray will immediately pick the item up and put it in your hands, and the dark gray will allow you to interact with the item in your inventory. So let's look at the knife. And that is not a knife. That's a dagger. I think. It's awfully big for a knife. Anyway, let's pick it up to put it in our hands and click on the vulture to use it with it. And we'll get a couple of options here. Let's see. We can strike it. We can throw the knife at the vulture. We can talk to the vulture. We can show the knife to the vulture. We can examine the knife. Or we can stab the vulture. Hmm. Well, let's try talking to it first. Maybe we can scare it off. That didn't work. Fine, let's uh, let's get a little more violent. Let's strike the vulture. And that didn't work either. It wounded us again. Alright, fine. Let's stab the vulture. Die, vulture! Or not. <laughs> Great. We died on the first screen. Well, welcome to Return to Zork.